Welcome back to Small Pillars of Eternity. Okay, so let's see if the statue has anything to tell us. I'm guessing of course. we might get access to the locked door. I'm hoping so anyway. Well met, friend. Uh, I found records that that ASO may be running some questionable experiments. <coughs> Experiments? Cademan Aso is in charge of patient welfare now. He's not authorized to run any more experiments. I am disappointed in Cademan. I had hoped he would be one to guide he would be the one to guide our inquiry. He'll be in his office or in the patient ward. I'm granting you immediate access so you can find him. No doubt you will wish to speak to him further on this matter. And I, for one, am curious to what he might have to say. Tread carefully in the ward. There are a few dangerous cases. I would ask also that you do your best not to agitate the patients. They have enough trouble as it is. We'll see about that. Question is if the guards agree with this authorization or if they will resist me we are going in anyway so it doesn't really matter thank you you have nothing to say oh uh, this seems like a nice place <coughs> A curved spine twists this woman's posture forward. Her greasy hair drapes over her large eyes like vines. She smiles at you. You must be visiting someone. Then, noticing your appearance, she adds, A friendly visit, I hope. Why are you in here? Behind her hair, cheeks flourish. I don't want to say. You'll think less of me. Uh, I wouldn't worry about that. These last few years hasn't been too kind to me. They haven't been kind to anyone, really. I try not to think of it as personal. I lost my husband and both boys in the Saints' War. My daughter, the legacy took her before she was even mine. I may do. What else can you do? I moved into a tiny place in O'Donnell's gift got by mending clothes and on the kindness of strangers when I had to, but I was surviving and the guards were watching over me. I could live with that. Then one day this noblewoman came in, wants this fancy groom fixed. Gorgeous thing. This shade of blue I've never seen before, only I had. I looked at it and it reminded me of something. I had what they call an awakening. I remember being a noble woman myself in another life. People doting over me. Men doting over me. Me. The best food, the most beautiful home, all the things you'd never dare to dream of, they were mine. It was poison knowing that. All those things I had that I'll never have in this life, it did something to me. My food started to taste rotten. The walls of my little room seemed to close in around me. It stopped being... I stopped being able to sleep in my own bed. So I came here. It was that or break into an estate and start ordering servants around. It seems like such a silly thing to worry about. You don't have to tell me. But I can't get past it. And I start to wonder, did the gods choose this life for me? And if so, what terrible thing must I have done to deserve it? Um... You had it right before. There's nothing to do but to live with it. That's what I kept kept me going, but it hasn't gotten easier, and that's it's just too bad. Um, do you know anything about this animancer, Aso? 
Oh, I like him very much. Many animals care less about their patients. Look at us like vermin for their experiments. But Master Azo treats us like humans. Even the very sick. You can tell he does this to help people. He helped me understand a great deal about myself. And I know he's done the same for others. It's too bad what they did to him. He hides it well, well but I know he's still affected by it. What happened to him? Ferro's eyes dart back and forth and her voice lowers to just abo above a whisper. They don't like to talk about it, but there was an accident. He was said to be one of the brightest in Deerwood. That was his reputation here. And what brought me to seek treatment? People say it was ego that drove him to try and solve the legacy, but that's hogwash. Even if he was a bit of a showman, he loved his homeland. He thought he could help. He wasn't one to speak of his work. I suspect his colleagues might have tried to steal it, but he told me once that he had figured one way to create a soul. Not a soul exactly, mind you. How did he put it? A proxy, I think he called it. Had some machine that drew energy out of the very ether. Can you imagine? The point is, it was going to help with legacy. It was going to make Hollowborn into something easier to love and care for. Gods know that's something we need. Do you know what they call those empty little babies in Odana's gifts? No. They call them Bions, because so many of them are found floating face down in the water. There are mad times. Anyway. Master Aso has scheduled a public demonstration of his work in Copper Lane. He was so excited. And then, the next day, he was locked in his office, turning away visitors, I heard, and he stopped seeing patients. I don't know exactly what happened, and I don't have the heart to ask him, but I'm glad they're letting him treat people again. Do you know where I might find him? I think I've seen him around today. Have you checked the laboratory? He just wall off with his office. He'd been spending most of his time there lately. Have any of the patients here been acting unusual? Well, there's Barixa, who relieves a murder she committed more than five lifetimes ago. Little man, who they say only has half a soul, and was found collecting the faces of others because he believes his own to be a false one. Grab, he speaks in language no one understands, and wails at night sometimes. Different than normal behavior, I mean. Well, yes, I suppose, but nothing they didn't volunteer for. Master Aeso let us know that a number of patients in North Ward have volunteered for a new therapy, and would be escorted to his laboratory to receive treatments. The North Ward has our most troubled cases. I'm glad someone have, of them have chosen to get help. It seems to me it's gotten quieter over there since it started. It's Graham I see them talking, taking in the most, his struggles, but it's always bit, was a bit of a wild one. Would I be able to visit the North Ward? Uh, they like to keep them separate. I don't know that I've ever seen the gods allow a visitor, just Master Aeso. You might ask him. He's very sympathetic. Uh, farewell. Uh, hello, Mr. Guard. Construct turns its head towards you and watches you wearily. No speak. I can loot. Oh, lockpicks. Need those. Let's see if we can find the North Ward. Needs a key. No visitors. Ah. 
nothing here. Hello. Always something new. Oh. Thank you. Kindly. I need that one. Hmm. These are just patients. This seems like the laboratory. I've got this. Need three lockpicks for that? Really? One for that. Let's talk to you. A round faced balding man turns to face you. His upper lip is pulled upwards slightly by a pointed nose, exposing his upper teeth when it scrolls. What is the meaning of this? Um, let's see. Ethelmer told me you were not supposed to be doing any more experiments. Yes, well, Ethelmer hasn't done much good for anybody since it had its soul moved into an inanimated object, so I failed to see why I should let that sway me. If Anmanses all followed the commandment of their leaders, where would we be? We'd all be as backward and willfully ignorant as Fridikars. We would know nothing about life or death or even ourselves. We'd be lost in the dark with no clue as to why. Our leaders guide us and without them we risk losing our way. If this man would strike off on his own, then let him fend for himself without the benefit of the sanitarium. Uh. I have no interest in arguing about this. Like so many who stand idly by while a nation slowly collapses into the dust. Apathy and ignorance are the true curse that dooms the Deerwood. Who will solve Widewen's legacy? Some church? Some warrior? It will be an Animancer or it will be no one at all. I'd like access to the Northern Ward. Out of the question, those patients are in isolation for a reason. Um, I've been given permission to conduct my investigation down here. You best cooperate. My answer is no. Whatever you're looking for, those patients will not be able to help you. The head warden will stand by me on this. N no. Let me in. Um... I heard you were demoted. How did that happen? Air's nostril flares and he breathes his upper teeth more, bears his upper teeth more broadly. That's none of your concern. Did one of the other put you up to this? Ordmer, that smug weasel. Things went wrong. Everything. I don't know how. I'll never know. He spits on the floor as if to remove a bitter taste from his mouth. Have you tried your experiments on any other subjects? I have, yes. No point in lying about it, now that Thormer is involved. I asked for volunteers from our patients and a few brave souls came forward. I was very close at one time to a breakthrough. They understood that. They understood their sacrifice would mean something. Uh, Expert of Awakening? Buying stuff? What is it now? Uh, nothing. Um, we do have enough lockpicks to at least pick this one. It's done. What's this? Uh, ooh. Defense while stunned, prone, uh, minus stun duration and knockdown duration. Uh, that's pretty interesting. Um, let's see. Um, I think you're gonna get this. There you go. Have fun with that. Uh, combine those, yes. And yes. this one is 
three lockpicks. How Ready, far are you from level? Uh, pretty far. Let's right. Let's remember yes. this place and come back at some time. Uh, oh, can no. This is this is his study. Yes. You Hello. Don't have anything more to say? No. Uh, let's see. Ah, here it is. And there's nothing up here, I think. So we have two doors where one we know is locked. And this is a fake door. Okay. And we're not able to open this without lock. Right. Now we need a key. Um, okay. Let's let's pick the lock and see if there is a key there. If not, we are going upstairs to talk I've to the statue again. Yes, let's use three. It's done. It's not a lock, it's a one handed mace. Uh, when attacking the same target as an ally. Uh, when attacking the same target. Ooh, that's, that's pretty good. Um, so, I mean, you could get that, but I do like the core stuff with reach. That is pretty nice. Um, then it is. Could give it to you. Yeah, let's, let's, let's let you have that one uh, for times when you can have the dagger in this one, like so. For times when you are attacked in, uh, in close combat and your wolf has to come to save you. Okay, so let's just take a quick look here just to make sure I didn't miss. Oh, and Stronghold. Morning Crucible, uh, a secret society of animals has been traveling around the Eastern Reach, yara yara, uh, a secret society known as the Morning Circle repeatedly eluded Mara's pursuit. As soon as Mara discovered the last location, they would begin the process of moving to a new town. It turned out that the Morning Cru Circle had an extensive spy network at the disposal. Eventually, Mara managed to capture a senior member of the group who had more than willing to give up information on her brothers and sisters. In Rhodes and Charnel House, Mara and trusted soldiers of the Hammond family confronted and killed most of the cult's leader. Uh, though some members of the group escaped, the Earl of Helsage, Fira Marheim, was confident that the power in Deerwood was broken. Uh, got some experience. Grand denial of kill. Anger. What, what is all this? Ten plus, ten plus defenses. Attack speed. Concentration and interruption. Minus one resolve. Plus fifteen endurance. This is pretty nice. Uh, so much shackler. Uh, as a route with your keep, that we know. Um, is this in our inventory? No, so I'm guessing we have to go back to the to the keep to get that reward. Okay, so nothing here. Then Let's head up again. Um, let's check quests. Um, the man who waits. It's the only one with access. So how do I get access if he doesn't want to give it? Can I talk to anyone here? Perhaps? These are just patients. Some milk. Patience. 
doesn't seem Hail Traveler. Like any of you have anything for me. Um let's talk to him one more time and then end the episode. So up the stairs we go. Hail traveler. And you have nothing for me. Okay. Um well done. We are going to end the episode, so Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, folks.